Hello there, this is Ashra from Zenon Studios and uh, uh, previously we've drawn these walls in Akikad and we've also inserted um, a slab underneath these walls. I'm putting the links to those videos in the description. All you can find them up here. Perfect. So today I want us to insert doors into these walls. If you, we can head over to our 3D, you can see this is what we have walls and uh, a slab. So I want us to insert um, doors in here. Perfect. So I'll go back to my ground floor and um, I'm going to hit doors on my. Yeah, there. This will open up the info box. We can. Uh, manipulate settings from here, but I prefer going into the settings dialog. So perfect. Um, these are our door settings. Um, so I want the door to be 900. That's okay. 2100. That's okay. Sale to story. I want it to be at zero. Perfect. The reference point is there. That's okay. Then um. I'm going to head direct to the dimension marker. Okay, let me first go to the hinged door settings. So I want my leaf to look like um, there are very many options here that you can choose from. I'm going to choose. Um, uh, let me go with this. I'm going to give it a handle. This one. There are other settings that you can change here, but we are going to see that in a minute. So let me head over to the dimension marker. I want to have a marker. There are many options, but you can choose from these. So um, I don't want to have this circle here on the marker, so I'll turn this off. Then I don't want to have the extension line, so I'll turn that off too. Then marker position, I want it to be at zero. Perfect. So, yeah. Then uh, I can click this arrow here to manipulate other to manipulate other settings. So content ID, I want it to show the ID. That's okay. Then dimensions, I'm going to turn them off. I don't want to see dimensions. I don't want to see dimensions. Then fire and acoustic. That's already off. Uh, perfect. Then I'm going to go into classification and property so that I can assign the ID I want it to have. So I want it to carry D1. So I'm deleting all that away. And I'm hitting OK. Perfect. So. I'm going to use this as my external door, so I'm going to put one here. I'm putting one here, and it's opening outwards, just like that. D1, perfect. As you can see, it has come with a marker there. I'm also putting another one here, just like that. So this is saying D2. Now we need to modify a setting in Akikad so that um, the ID does not automatically increase. It stays the same. So come over here to um, options. Come over here to work environment. Come over here to um, more options right there. Perfect. Then under more options, you see this. Assign new element ID to each new element. I'm, I'm going to uncheck this and I'm going to hit OK. Perfect. And it will apply that setting. So I'm going to delete this door. Delete. Then I'm going to say Alt. Press Alt on your keyboard to get settings of this door. And then place it again right here. 
perfect as you can see now we are remaining we are still having our d1 perfect now i'm going to insert some internal doors in here um so i won't change any settings i'm simply going to go into the settings dialog and um, i'm gonna change this now to door 2 and i'm going to go over here to preview and positioning and change this to 800 these are now internal doors i'm going to hit okay perfect so setting the door in here let's open inwards i'm also inserting the door over here to open upwards just like that then I'm also inserting a door over here perfect as you can see they come with their markers door 2 then I'm also inserting a door here perfect door 2 so if we head over to our 3d um, let us see what we've created Perfect. As you can see, we have some doors here. Um, now all we need to do is um, uh, play with the settings to make them more beautiful. So since the door tab is active, the door tool is active, I'm going to say Ctrl A to select all elements associated with the door tool. Perfect. As you can see, they are all selected. So head over into their settings. Perfect. Now you're going to go to hinged door settings. Perfect. Click this, and then you have a whole lot of options here that you could change. I'm simply going to go to the model attributes. This first option here, the first model attributes here, and um, here I can change the color of the frame. I'm going to give this mahogany. Um, so wood yeah mahogany horizontal then frame leaf outside i'm also giving this mahogany vertical then uh, glass that's okay then i'm also changing this pen to one changing this pen to a black pen as you can see a key card changes that for me automatically so hit ok let's see what we have now perfect as you can see we have now something that is better and uh, more beautiful perfect um yeah we could also create a transom up here that means we would have to select a door with a transom but uh, we shall do that in the near future as we continue this series. Perfect, that's all from me today. See you in our next tutorial. We are inserting windows in, onto this house in our next tutorial. See you then. Love you. I'm Ashwa from Zenon Studios.